Well, more and more people are taking interest in driving a golf cart for reasons other than taking part in one of America's favorite pastimes. I mean, I love driving a golf cart. I want one. WCNC Charlotte's Jane Monreal live in Charlotte. So, Jane, even though I want one, there is a debate whether they should actually be on the road. And we're not talking about the beverage cart, right, Carolyn? Well, I might All be right, talking so... about that. <laughs> Oh, well, OK, that might be included as well, as long as you're not driving at the same time, right? All right, so this is Park Road Shopping Center, the end of the day, getting a little bit busy here, surrounded by a lot of residential neighborhoods and people like the one I spoke to today say it's fun. It's convenient running their errands, maybe even grabbing dinner in a ride like this one. I just wanted a family friendly way to to get around. Christopher English goes almost everywhere in his golf car or low speed vehicle, sometimes called an LSV. English started with this basic rundown golf cart that was in somebody's backyard and rebuilt it to what it looks like now. LSV is really the only way. L LS LSV is the um, is the accepted is the accepted term. He admits his ride sometimes irritates others on the road for a couple of reasons. Safety reasons. Um, and then and then mainly it slows them down from being able to get from from where they are, are and where they're trying to go. According to North Carolina state law, a low speed vehicle may be operated only on public streets where the posted speed limit is 35 miles per hour or less, and it should be able to travel between 20 and 25 miles per hour. My thing is I never want to feel like I'm holding somebody up. So I will, as soon as I know that someone is behind me, I just, I naturally just, as soon as it's safe to do so, I pull over and I wave them around. In addition, the LSV has to be registered and tagged, seat belts for every passenger, Headlights, taillights, turn signals, brake lights, mirrors, um, DOT approved tires, DOT approved windshield, a windshield wiper. LSVs are powered by electricity, which helps English save on gas. He says a full charge gets him about 24 miles. I love it. I love it. I think it's great. All right, so the speed limit on Park Road is 35 miles per hour. English says he can take his LSV from the South Park area up to E Street and back, no problem. So you might be wondering, how much are these things? Well, it's definitely a demand. The prices are on the rise. There's even a wait list for manufacturers and even for his services where he converts those golf carts into LSVs. There is one custom uh, golf cart listed on his website. Get this, at $12,000. Live in Charlotte, Jane Monreal, WCNC Charlotte. Yeah, 12000 is cheaper than EV. Okay, but you can't go That's on the true. freeway with it, Fred. They need to up the ante on that, uh, <laughs> that speed. And we're in business. Okay. Then we're talking something entirely different. Jane, thank you for that report.